This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to calculate the economic order quantity, reorder point, and safety stock under a fixed quantity inventory system. Here's the data for our problem. The B&S Novelty and Craft Shop in Bennington, Vermont sells a variety of quality items to tourists. It will sell 500 hand-carved miniature replicas of a colonial soldier each year, but the demand pattern during the year is uncertain. The replicas sell for $12 each and BNS uses a 25% annual inventory holding cost rate. Ordering costs are $3 per order, and demand during the lead time follows a normal distribution with a mean of 25 and a standard deviation of 4. There are three questions for us to solve. A. What is the recommended order quantity? B. If BNS is willing to accept a stock out roughly twice a year, what reorder point would you recommend? And what is the probability that BNS will have a stock out in any one order cycle? And C, what is the safety stock level and annual safety stock costs for this product? For requirement A, we want to apply the economic order quantity or EOQ formula, where the EOQ or Q star equals the square root of 2 times D times C naught divided by CH, where D is the annual demand, C naught or C0 is the cost to place one order, and CH is the holding cost. Applying our variables, Q star equals the square root of 2 times the annual demand of 500 times the order cost of $3 divided by a holding cost of $3 calculated as the selling price of $12 multiplied by the 25% annual holding cost rate. The holding cost can be a fixed value or a percentage of the selling price as it is in this problem. This works out to 31.62 units which we can round to 32 since we can't order a partial unit. Let's use the more exact 31.62 for our remaining calculations and store that in our calculator memory. For requirement B to calculate the reorder point, we want to use the formula R equals mu L plus Z times sigma L, where R equals the reorder point, mu L equals the average demand during the lead time, Z equals the number of standard deviations necessary to achieve an acceptable service level, and sigma L is the standard deviation of the demand during the lead time. We know the average demand during the lead time is 25 units and the standard deviation is 4. And in order to solve for R, we first need to know Z. And the first step for that is to determine the probability of stocking out, which equals the number of stockouts per year divided by the number of orders per year. The data doesn't tell us the number of orders per year, but based on the EOQ, we can calculate that as the demand divided by the quantity or 500 annual demand divided by the 31.62 EOQ to get 15.81 orders per year. Now we can determine the probability of stocking out to be two stockouts per year divided by 15.81 orders per year, which yields 0.1265 or 12.65%. If we subtract this from one or 100%, that gives us 0.8735, which is the probability of not stocking out and is the same thing as maintaining a service level of 87.35%. If we translate this into a standard normal curve to help us determine what Z is, this is what we're looking at. The unshaded area under the curve represents the 12.65% probability of stocking out, and the shaded area under the curve represents the service level of 87.35%. This curve diagram corresponds to this standard normal distribution table. If we look for the value closest to 0.8735 without going over, we will find it by triangulating 1.1 in the Z column and 0.04 across the top, so about 1.14. If you want the exact value, you can use Excel with the formula norm.s.inv with two open parentheses, 1 minus 0.1265 and two closed parentheses and we end up with 1.1431. Now we can complete our calculation for the reorder point, which equals the lead time demand of 25, plus a Z value of 1.1434, times the standard deviation of four, which equals 29.57 units, which we would round to 30. Our conclusion for this requirement is that the reorder point is 30 units, and the probability of a stockout is 12.65%. For requirement C and determining the safety stock, we actually already calculated it. In the formula for the reorder point, the safety stock is actually the Z times sigma L term. 
So safety stock equals Z of 1.1431 times the standard deviation of 4 to get 4.57 or 5 units. We can also prove this by working backwards from our reorder point by taking R minus the lead time demand or 30 units minus 25 units equals 5 units. Finally, for the annual safety stock cost, we take the 5 units of safety stock and multiply by the $12 selling price times the 25% holding cost rate for a total annual cost of $15. Thus, for this requirement, our conclusion is that the safety stock level is 5 units with an annual cost of $15.